Hey, what's up guys? It's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today. Today is the 19th day of May Madness, which means there's only a whopping 12 days left of May Madness. If you guys don't know what May Madness is, it is where I make a video every single day in the month of May, and we are at day 19, as yeah, I mean, you can tell. Today we have an episode that has been quite requested by a lot of people, and that's basically how do I take care of my dart frog tadpoles. So my tadpoles that I have here are actually, none of them are mine. My buddy has some dart frogs that he has. Uh, he has Leucamellus and uh, Dendrobates Tinctorius Azurius that he has breeding. And he it doesn't want to raise the tadpoles. His thing is more Ufaga, where they just kind of do it themselves. You don't really need to worry about it. So he said, hey, Mike, do you want to take these tadpoles? I said, absolutely, I would love to raise them. I have everything laid out on the table in front of me that I'd use for my tadpoles. I have my turkey baster. This is just a turkey baster from Walmart. You can pick it up. It's like $9 or something like that or less in America probably. The next thing I have here is what I feed them. This is the aquatic fruit and tadpole food. This stuff here works really, really well. I will be making a different mix with this still in it, but I want to include some fish food and basically make it into powder form so that I can just sprinkle it on top. The next thing I have is just a little planter because this is where I put all the wastewater, essentially. What I do is I turkey baste up all the water in their, in their little, uh, I guess, pods and uh, then I just change it over with some fresh filtered water. I actually got a clutch of eggs from my Erotus. Uh, there's really only two maybe decent eggs in there that might actually go to tadpole stage. My female's being really weird. If any of you guys have any tips on what to do when your female's just laying like clear eggs like that, certainly let me know. I think it's just a fertilization problem. So I need to get those males doing their job a little bit better. After that egg stage, essentially what they do is they morph out into little tadpoles. Now, what I do is use my turkey baster and suck them out of my little petri dish. And then I put them into here. And this is where they're gonna stay until they turn into little froglets with all their legs and a tail. And then I'll move them to an angled deli container where they can crawl out of and then they will continue their life on as a little froglet. There's a couple different stages of tadpoles that I have here. I have a couple that are just small like this one in here. It's pretty small. It hasn't really gotten any of its color yet. It's just uh, in its tadpole phase. And then we have a couple more that are starting to get a little bit bigger and get some nice blue tinge to them. And then we have these Leucamellus tadpoles that have back legs now. And then this guy hasn't quite started to develop his front legs yet, but he's very close. He's the most mature tadpole that I have. And then I have a couple that are smaller. I guess the first thing to address would be what are these containers? And these are actually containers that uh, the pet stores use for betas. You can go in and you can ask the shop owner or whatever if you can buy some. Now they're not cheap, but I like that they're square and they fit into these little trays really nicely. Whereas the round ones that you can buy for like $10 for 50 of them, then they aren't round. So they're a little bit less space conscious. I would like to invest some money and just have a nice rectangular square set up like this and uh, it works really really well for me. Tadpoles in general are very easy to take care of. They really only need to be fed maybe once or twice a week and I feed uh, as I showed you earlier this stuff I feed about three to four pellets every feeding so uh, that would do for several of these containers just those little tiny pellets. Typically I feed once or twice a week as I said earlier and that seems to get them growing really well. The only thing that you need to worry about when you're feeding that much is making sure that they have clean water. Once a week, I'll go in here. You guys can see in there that there's a bunch of floating debris and, and waste matter. So what I'll do is I'll go in there with my turkey baster and just suck it all up out of the corner. And I take out all the water. It's not going to hurt the frog if they're without water for, I don't know, like 25 seconds. Take out all the water, and then I just have some filtered water with zero parts per million in it. Uh, it's not technically RO, but it's very filtered water, and I'll just pour that back in there. And there you have it. That's a changed tadpole. Uh, almost froglet, but a changed tadpole. 
And I'll do that about once a week. That was something that I messed up on my first round of tadpoles. I didn't clean them nearly as often as I should have. And they took forever to morph. Whereas these guys are about uh, two, three months in water. And they're about ready to come out in the next probably three weeks or so. They'll be out of water and into the grow up tank. If you guys are wondering how I set up one of these containers, what I do is I use a clump of moss, whatever moss you can get your hands on. This is a piece of Taxophyllum spiky, and then I use a little chunk of Indian almond leaf in there, and that's what I use for their whole setup. That's what they get, and that Indian almond leaf will provide some antibacterial, antifungal properties that will help keep the water from filming over and getting nasty. That's what I use as my protection against bacterial warfare is the Indian almond leaves. This is how I recommend you guys set them up. Now you can keep them in the 32 ounce deli cups and just keep filling them up and adding more water every week. But me personally, I like to do a water change. I just like to get all their waste products and everything out of there because I think that that is uh, kind of nasty and they deserve a, a little bit of a cleaner, more sterile environment for growing up. I know I get that the wild is not sterile by any means, but it's more sterile than being locked in with your own poop for uh, like four months of your life. It's pretty easy. I basically do this, like I said, once a week, and it it kind of is soothing to me. I really like changing the water and seeing how they grow. And this is all very, very fascinating to me. Just seeing all their different growth patterns and how quickly they grow and how fast they go from a large tadpole to a small frog. It's absolutely remarkable to me. So I hope you guys learned something about tadpole care. I guess temperature of the water is just room temperature. You can have it slightly heated if you live somewhere very cold but I don't really recommend having to heat it. So that's what I do for mine. That is their setup. I have gone through all their care. I've shown you what I feed them. I've done a water change for you guys, and I hope you've learned something. So I want to thank you guys all for coming out on this fine Friday. I will uh, hopefully have some wicked videos coming this weekend and then a live stream on Sunday. So please stay tuned for that. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave those in the comment section. While you're down there, answer the question, what do you want to see on the live stream this weekend? That would be a interesting topic for me so I can see what you guys are looking forward to. That way I know what content to put out for you guys. So thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel and you will not miss a day of May Madness. It is getting crazy. I really hope to have some videos like the day of my life coming out soon. I just need to confirm a couple things with a couple different people and we should have some crazy videos coming out. So thanks for watching you guys. Have a good one. Graphic Phoenix out of here.